So yeah. Hello everyone, this is Dragonaut, and welcome to uh, another live stream, which I do about once a month, since that's just what I do, really. Um, so yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to the... Hello everyone, this is Dragonod, and welcome to my 2,000 subscriber stream. And we do these about once a month now, which is kind of insane, since, um, well, my last stream was, um, last month, which we did as a 2,000 subscriber celebration, which is insane that we're, um, as a 1,000 subscriber celebration, sorry, which is insane since we are now on 2,000 subscribers, which is Minds blowing and I don't know if you guys um hello everyone this is Dragonod and I don't know if you guys know but my plans were kind of screwed since um well I was gonna do some 1.16 SMP which you can see online right now um but as you can see my inventory is empty um since we just destroyed um killed the dragon and I fell off while I'm busting so I have absolutely nothing so I guess we're gonna go do Hogwarts instead um since that is probably the easiest option just go build Hogwarts rather than, you know, have to get the grind back on. Um, obviously, I can go ahead and, you know, make some netherite tools. But in general, I think we're just going to go build Hogwarts since that's what, I think that's what you guys want most. And the sheep farm is so annoying. Oh my god, so, I need to shut it up. I don't even have an axe anymore. This is so sad. Um, there we go. Alright, it's just... Oh, we've got quite a lot of wool. Right, anyway. Um, I guess just go build Hogwarts instead since it's... Um, 1.16 kind of got screwed up. Anyway, so off to Hogwarts we go.
Right then, we are now in Minecraft 1.14.4 and ready for some Hogwarts building. Okay, so, uh, welcome to the stream everyone, welcome Hassan, welcome Hassan, um, welcome the Sword of the Morning, welcome Spooky, welcome Rags to Riches, welcome to Griham Lindem... Lindenberg de Lima Beltrao, I'm sorry. Um, welcome Aiden, welcome Spookio, welcome Justus, welcome Karis, welcome, welcome Ruben, welcome Elias, uh, welcome JD. I'm not sure if I missed anyone, I'm just reading through the chat really quickly. Um, so some quick right questions. Then. We are I in Minecraft 1.14.4. And so some questions I have been seeing in the chat is that, um, well, where is episode 12? So I was planning to release episode 12 on, well, on, uh, Yesterday, to be honest, um, but we did hit 2,000 subscribers, and I felt we should probably do a stream for 2,000 subscribers, and so a stream it is, um, since, yeah, why not? We, we can do it, and, um, yeah, so, so that, and since I record all my episodes on a Saturday afternoon, which is while I'm streaming, it means, well, I couldn't record two episodes, and so that would have meant that the week after would have no episodes. So I'm deciding to delay episode 12 and actually upload it next week. I have already got it already recorded. And I just saw that we hit 43 viewers, which is absolutely mental. So welcome to the stream, everyone. It's, yeah, it's our it's our monthly stream, to be honest. We, we do a stream about once a month, to be honest. And I love it. I love interacting with you guys and it's awesome. Um, I don't know how my sound is working. I did a bit of testing. So yeah, next episode will be on Friday. Um, and yeah, I, I did streams quite a few in the past, however, since I've done the new tutorial, it is kind of, um, difficult to do streams, but if you guys do want a quick sneak peek of what we did in episode 12, what we did was we built this area right here and built all of these wings around here, and it does look really, really cool. Of course, if you do want sneak peeks, they are available in my Discord server. So, yeah. Hey Ahmed, welcome to the stream. So, um, I don't, I can't really see chat right now because I have that alt tab to actually go to chat. Um, so anyway, so today I was planning on doing some interior work. So I'd like to thank you guys, I'd like to show you guys actually. So first thing, a big thank you for 2,000 subscribers. It means so, so much. Um, that is great, cool. So this is the new Great Hall I'll be working on. Um, it's in progress obviously and it's, I mean, it's okay. Um, obviously, it's, so if you guys, guys know about a lot about Hogwarts, um, you will recognise that this interior is actually wrong, since in the films, the Great Hall first floor is actually this height here. However, that just really just doesn't work, since there's no stairs, and so I had to build it down here, which means this back window is in the wrong place, and it's a bit of a nightmare, really, so I've just been kind of trying that out earlier. Um, I thought you were doing 1.16 SMP stream. Um, nope, that is not true. I was, I was originally. However, that is just not going to happen because, um, well, I died. I died in the end while end busting. Um, I just fell off since I'm, and I'm not the great at, oh, I've got Optifine back, that's cool. Um, since I'm not the best at survival and I had alt tabs and I came back in and I literally just walked forward and fell off. So I lost everything, which was really sad. So, yeah. Anyway, so that means we are going to do some Hogwarts. And this is the new Great Hall. We've got some models of these um, winged pigs. They're not the best, but I think they capture the Minecraft style quite well. Um, where is the house band? I have not actually added them in yet. Um, hey, John, welcome to the stream. Um, thank you very much, Conker. Thank you very much. Uh, can you say Uwu Monkey is so chunky in a manly voice? Um, well, I just said it, so there you go. Um, <laughs> and obviously we have these 3D models for the tables. And then if we head up to here, we have, oh, it's a bit of a mess up there, the staircase, um, which is, is in progress. Um, and so what I thought we could do this stream is just work on the west wing. Since I did in the stream earlier, we did some of the east wing. However, we need to do some west wing. I, would, I have not been x-raying on myself. What are you talking about? Um, hot water looking pretty nice on the inside. Yes, it is. It's looking really, really nice. Um, so I thought we might as well do some interior work. Since, well, it's lacking, um, to be honest. Obviously, we have some exterior polishing to do. But it's pretty, pretty annoying to do. So, yeah. Wow, 42 viewers. That is insane. Yep, I did die. It's, it was very sad. 
I just, ah, uh, I'm still really angry about that, but I guess I'll just grind it back up. I actually didn't chart to be honest, I already have all the resources. Um, so anyway, let's get some ourselves some blocks to actually build the interior out of. So just grab all of these, like so. So, yes, welcome, I remember to hit that like button. You're putting Hogwarts in survival, that is absolutely awesome. Um, I'm sorry if there's a bit of a stream delay, my Wi-Fi is not the best. Um, I should probably move to Twitch, but maybe later. Um, yes, that's really cool in survival. It's such it's such a hard build in survival since you need so much resources. Um, that is really cool. I salute you. Well done. That's cool. So, um, where should, where, should, where should we actually build? I turn us smooth lighting. No, so um, I turn us smooth lighting since 1.16. Uh, it doesn't have um. Optifine, and I'm on a laptop, which is absolutely terrible. So I had to go graphics minimum, smooth lighting minimum, render distance is more 13, so let's raise that up now. We're quite Optifine. Max frame was 30. We can just raise that to like, I don't know, I'll just keep it on 30 actually, because the monitor's not great. Um, um, dynamic lights, fancy. Graphics are now fancy, smooth lighting's maximum. Yep, there we go. Uh, performance, fast render off. Oh, on. Cool, we have now set up with Optifine. Um, are we going to make the texture pack available? So basically, when the um, when I release this map for public download, obviously it's available for Patreon members, so you can maybe check that out. <laughs> um, so yeah, the texture pack will be available with the world download. It will actually just apply automatically since it is embedded in the world. Um, when will I publish the next video of Hogwarts? That will be on Friday. Uh, actually, maybe maybe Monday. Depends if I can record an episode after this. How is Film Forest event going? Um, well, obviously the event finished a few weeks ago. Um, I'm still... Oh, why is there a hole here? Oh. Um, I'm still actually yet to paste in all of the world files. So that will be done at a later date. Um, so, yeah, that will be done, I don't know, at some point. <laughs> um, have I done any common rooms yet in the map? When will I start streaming on Twitch? I don't know. Um, have I done any common rooms? Um, I say, so, um, long story short, I did do Ravenclaw. We could do, we can actually do Ravenclaw common room today, actually. Um, Gryffindor common room, sorry. Um, but yeah, so we had a Ravenclaw common room, which was in here. Um, you can kind of see the remnants of it in here. But since I did redo the bell towers to a later, more updated design, it meant that I deleted the top. And so you come to the staircase to where the, um, the dormitories were, and you've got an empty space, which is a pain. But the actual kind of common room itself, I think it did survive. Yeah, so it's still here. Um, obviously, I still want to redo it since I'm not particularly happy with it. Um, but yeah, should we go, should we do um, Ravenclaw? Um, sorry, Gryffindor common room since I think that'd be quite a nice place to start with the West Wing interior. Um, when I'm going to release the public download, um, whenever the interior is done, so maybe in a few months' time. Um, can I show the Forbidden Forest? Um, I haven't done it. I still haven't pasted in all the trees. Um, it's just going to be over here. Can I, need, I need to polish off the landscape since it is a bit of a mess over there. It's not very accurate. And obviously accuracy matters. Um, and so, yeah, anyway. Shall we do the Gryffindor common room? I think we should. Um, so if you guys are not actually in my Discord server, you guys, I don't think you guys will know about the work I've been doing in the interior. And this is my proudest moment of my life. <laughs> um, this corridor, I spent so long on these textures and I think they look really cool. Um, I really, really like them actually. They look so nice. Um, anyway, we need to build Gryffindor common room, which is up here. Um, so I guess we just get started. So I guess the first thing we need to do is just remove all of these excess blocks. We actually know what we're working with. And oh my gosh, I well did it. Yes. <laughs> um, right, set that to air. There we go. I should clear out a space so we can actually know where we are actually going to be building. Um, hi, Sevilla. Welcome to the stream. Um, okay, go from the common room. Yeah, epic. Hey, Raps Place. Welcome to the stream. Oh, there's a hole there. There we go. Um, I think we can remove this wall as well. Just to get as much room in as possible before we kind of start doing the interior. Uh, so yeah, let's just fill this in like this. Um, so yeah. And this should just go down like this. And then we can actually start the actual common room. So um, 
it tends to be that on stream, I don't look at reference pictures since I don't, I'm on a laptop and so looking at reference images at the same time is very difficult. And so I will most likely make a few alterations, um, but I have, I do have some ideas on how I'm going to do this. So it should be pretty simple. Um, so I, I since I know that the basic design, it should be okay. But just in case, I will go back and take a double check since accuracy reasons are very important. Right, um, that should be that amount of space there. Can I mine down here? No, that's a wall. A wall. That is not a good idea. Right, so, the actual common room. It's going to be at this level. Um, yeah. You may want to notice one thing, is the quad windows are different to these windows. I'm going to go with these windows as the height. So, the first thing I think I want to do, actually, is delete this corridor. Um, so let's just actually move this up a few blocks. Since I don't want this corridor to be massively big, I'd prefer this corridor to be on the upstairs kind of floor. Since I'm taking the scene in um, Half the Prince, where Harry and Veronica are just chilling out, standing um, in this area, um, as the kind of baseline for the corridor outside of the Gryffindor common room, where McGonagall's like, um, you look far too happy up there or something. I could, I don't know the exact quote. Um, oh, you're going to say goodbye. Okay, okay, see you, um, Hassan. Um, what are you going to do after the tutorial is finished? Um, well, that will be in a, I don't know, it'll be actually done quite soon. I need to decide on that. Um, obviously, I'll keep working on my map, show some updates, and maybe some survival. Um, I really, I haven't really considered it. Um, so, yeah, I, I really have not considered what I'm going to be doing after the tutorial. Since it's going to be sad, since Hogwarts is obviously a massive part of this channel. So I'm deciding whether I stay to show some Hogwarts updates or just keep regularly uploading. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's actually do some do some interior work since I just talk way too much and get no work done. So, right, eight. So the first thing I want to do is just save this as a schematic. So I actually know, so I can keep it just in case I want to go back. So that's just scam. Um, just copy. Scam, save. Uh, let's call it, let's call it, worst, I can't spell, let's just call it, um, corridor, there we go, right, there we go, and then we can go ahead and shave it off, so, basically, I want to move this up here, um, and I basically want to have two of these, so one on this floor, and one on that floor, however, it needs to be a bit smaller, so what we need to do, is, we need to shave it down a bit, so if we take this coordinate here, Sorry, not that coordinate, this coordinate here. And over to here, what I want you to do is just move the entire area down. Obviously, I am using Word Edit, so if you guys do not have that installed, you guys will be unable to do this. So if you move that down too, it will shrink this corridor by a bit, and it looks a bit... Um, I mean, it's all right. And then, what I want you to do is set this as our first position, and move this up to... Well, to, um, I guess to this block here. So that's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 blocks, I believe. So let's just move. Actually, no, wait. We want to move it to. Let's move it up 15 blocks. Like that. Is that going to interfere with the roof? Is that going to damage the roof? I really hope it doesn't. Um, Alright, how does that look? Oh, it's interesting the roof, you see, which is very irritating. Um, oh, wait, I think we are going to be okay. I think I think this is the exact height it can go at. So let's go ahead and patch off the outside. Welcome to the stream, Griff. Admin has entered the chat. Yay. Um, we did actually just do um, moderator applications on my Discord server. So I'd like to welcome Spookyel to the moderator team as a trial moderator. And um, if they're in the stream as well, Japid, um, Dumbledore, and that fun G-nub. Welcome to the moderator team. <laughs> um, okay, so this is going to be the corridor leading to Gryffindor common room. When will I ever do a theatre reveal? Maybe, but not now. Why? Because I just don't want to. So this is where Harry and Ron are standing, having a great time while looking at everyone else. Um, so that is that bit there, if you're wondering. So let's just extend this over to here. And in the resources, like that, that should be all good, okay. And then we can come down to here and paste in our schematic and see if it will fit. So such a scam, I 
think we're going to just paste it in. There we go. And now we have two floors of of corridors. So you have the um, this kind of quad corridor, which is looking really nice, actually. And then this corridor up here as well. And obviously, we need to add in some windows, since there are these windows right here. Um, yeah, they're going to be a bit of an issue, actually. So there is going to be... I think what we should do, actually, um, we should move all of this by one block this way. So let's grab this cushion here. And then this position here, so that one, there we go, slash slash move, one minus eight, but oh, it broke the roof, that should be okay. Right, now, we head over to the quad, the window should hopefully line up, these ones didn't line up, what went wrong? Oh, I didn't select this area. I'm terrible at water that on stream, I just cannot water that on stream, it is terrible. Alright, we should take this position here. Move one. Am I going to be doing Slytherin Common Room? Yes, yes, I will. At some point. Obviously in the main map it will be there. What have I done now? Um, yeah, so I will be doing Slytherin Common Room at some point. Um, obviously it will be on the main map since it's very important. Um, but it will, just, it will just be done at some point. Um, yep, those are all synced up, I hope. Yep, they look all synced up. Excellent. Right, this is just talent, thank you so much. Uh, welcome to IC3K, welcome to Sean. The next tutorial is on Thursday, um, since I'm doing this lovely stream. If I do have time to record an episode after this, I will actually do a stream, I will um, upload one on Monday, and then another one on Thursday. So it really depends on how long the stream is. So yeah, all right, we can punch in some windows here. Um, yeah, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna get these windows in? I guess we can do something like this. And then, hmm, let's have a think. So we can take our window blocks, uh, which are some grey stained glass, some black stained glass. Um, yeah, like that. You're part of the forest team. Yes, you are. Place that there. And then another one on top, just like that. There we go. And then we can add in the beam across, like that. That should look okay from the inside. Um, I'm kind of worried since I hate sinking windows. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not the fan. Not the biggest fan of that. I think we can actually raise this a bit up. So what we need to do is uh, move this down a few blocks. So we can move this down actually one we can move this down two more blocks, so that should give us the leg room we need. So if we go ahead and select the entire area, and this is going to really screw up the roof actually. It's going to screw up the big roof big time actually. So let's move that down two, and oh gosh, the roof's been deleted. <laughs> uh, this is why I just don't like doing interior, since it's such a mess, and if you screw up, you screw up, and it's just a nightmare in general. So... Uh, let's go fix this roof. So position one, two, stack, uh, 25, 30, 30, 30, oh, 33, there we go. And then fix it on the other side. Do I know how many episodes there are going to be in the tutorial? So that's a good question actually. So, um, what we're currently, I've done, I've recorded um, 12, obviously I've only uploaded um, what is going on? Obviously, I've recorded, um, 33. And, uh, no, oh my god, I can't think. I've recorded tw um, 12. So, in, after episode 12, we have completed this entire area around here. So, um, the east wing will probably be done by episode 15. And I think there'll be about, since this west wing is actually rather simple, I think I'm aiming for between 25 and 30 episodes. So it should be done pretty quickly. <laughs> Where am I living? That's so smart to have two glass textures. Yeah, I know. I thought I thought I talked I talked to you about that. Um, but yeah, it just allows you to have the archways in, which I think is really nice. Um, so yeah, anyway. Oh, there's no window in here. Where'd the window go? That's weird. Um, anyway, you can go punch in the window now. 
My charmed classroom is in the wrong location. So that is true. I will not deny it. It is definitely in the wrong location. Um, there is a reason, and that is simply because the re um, the area it is in is not in the Harpler Prince model. So the actual location of the charms classroom is in the training grounds, which is here. However, that is removed in the Harpler Prince, and this is the Harpler Prince model of Hogwarts, and therefore, I don't know where to put it. Um, I don't have a potions classroom. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm sorry, I do. I don't have a potions classroom. Um, I don't know where you guys are getting that from, since I definitely do not have a potions classroom. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know where you guys are getting that from. Um, yeah, that is weird. <laughs> um, yeah, where, where did you guys get that from? I definitely, yeah, I haven't been, um, sharing it. I haven't built the closest classroom, so I don't know how it's in the wrong place. Um, so, yeah. My child's classroom is in the wrong place, yes, it is. I built mine in this wing right there, since that massive window there kind of lines up to be the one in the movie. But obviously, it's it's not in the this model. So that's just kind of annoying, I will admit. But it's I say that location I chose is, I, it makes sense, and it's one of the best locations on the Harpla Prince model. So let's go ahead and add in these windows. All right. Built these in the wrong place. Oh. One. And then add in the sandstone slabs across there. Like that. Um, once I've finished Hogwarts, am I going to build? Yes, I am going to build other locations. I am getting really excited to do that, actually. How long is the stream? Um, we'll be streaming for about... We've been... Oh my gosh, we're already an hour in and I've done absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, maybe another hour or so. And that'll do something else. Um, yeah, you had to put the charm class in the other place. Yeah, it was quite annoying. No, don't worry, Jennifer, it's not 24 hours. I'm going to be streaming for another hour or so while I do the interior. Don't worry, not a 24 hour stream. I, do, I need to record some episodes after this. So, yeah, and oh, God, there's a sort of roof damage here. Fix that right there. Cool. Right, so, this is going to be the Gryffindor kind of corridor. So, all we need to do is just paste in these windows across the entire area. So select that coordinate there, that coordinate there, sand here, so just copy, and then just paste this along in all the window locations. There's one here, there's one here, and one here, like so. There we go. Um, that, that's the windows there, settled. And then we just build the actual cor um, common room. So, this is kind of where you see Percy Weasley leading everyone to the fat lady. Um, oh, okay, see you, Aiden. Okay, so, let's go ahead and build up a wall here, since it's going to be where the fat lady is shown, which is going to be... Yeah, I'm obviously going off the top of my head right now. Obviously, I will go back and look at the actual movie, um, but since I do not have that on me right now, I would have to go from what I actually remember. So do excuse me if I do get anything wrong in this stream. I will definitely go ahead and look back at it. So, yeah. All right, see you, Aiden. All right, let's go ahead and fill in this wall, like so. Actually, I think we might need to move this wall a bit. Let's move this wall. Since they have that kind of passageway, um, we should add that in, actually. So let's move this wall a bit further down. So that's air. Let's have the corridor, let's have the common room start. Let's have a start here actually, right here, at this level right there. Fill in this roof area. Oops, like, like this. Um, you can probably try to see why I don't like doing interior. I'm actually hopeless at interior. Um, it's not my forte. I just, I'm not experienced with doing interior work at all. So I'm definitely going to need to improve it for this Hogwarts interior. So yeah. Yes, I'm definitely having the fat lady as a texture pack in as a sorry as a painting in the resource pack. Since yeah, it just allows for so much more dynamic ability to edit Hogwarts. Um so yeah. Um who've read all the Harry Potter books? Me, I've read all of them. You play Fortnite, okay, good for you, Jacob. You're in book five, that is a really cool crystallized star. They are a great series to watch and hot. Uh, watch and read actually. Um, 
so yeah okay so um obviously we will probably have to polish this area up it's not looking the best um right now but i will polish it up anyway just punch a uh just punch right there um don't like that and then add in uh I, I, I definitely do need some reference pictures. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so they have that kind of... Um, they go through this kind of passageway, which then opens up into the actual common room. So I guess that'll be this passageway right here. Like this. Like that. You've read them all three times. Oh, that's not, that, that is... Rookie numbers right there, rookie numbers indeed. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we need to add a staircase actually to go into here. Let's grab ourselves some uh, smooth sandstone stairs. Um, maybe just cut sandstone slab and the painting will go above. So the painting would be like that size. Yeah, we have a pretty big painting actually. So let's grab ourselves a endstone brick slab. Right there, place that there. Like that. Have this going along. There we go. And then this will go into the actual common room. Is it possible for me to, uh, for, to download uh, my texture pack on Bedrock? Unfortunately, it is un uh, unavailable on Bedrock Edition. I will try my best to create a Bedrock map. However, much the these textures, for example, right here, they rely on Optifine, and that is not available for Bedrock. And so, yeah, I'm going to need to think of how I'm going to be able to um, do that. Maybe the Bedrock download will just have um, kind of less um, decorated textures. Obviously, I can't support 3D models as either on Bedrock, so that will arise some issues. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I will try my best to create a Bedrock download. Um, Ethan, this is a Hogwarts stream, not a Fortnite stream, so please stop <laughs> talking about Fortnite. Um, right, so, there is a fireplace in here, actually. One thing I do know about the Gryffindor common room. So, let's build a fireplace, and that is going to be situated right about here. Um, this is going to take so much planning, actually. So, let's go ahead and just build out a floor, since, obviously, a floor is very important. So we can actually get an idea of where we're actually building. So I'll go around here. Like so. Um, maybe just down here as well. Like that. And then we can go ahead and set that to smooth sandstone. So there we go. Replace air with smooth sandstone. There we go. Like that. <laughs> Who disliked the stream? No. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. I don't really do this for likes. I do this because it's fun. All right. So you have a floor, and then we now need a fireplace. So this is where oh the one point six scene is so nice. It's got that soul soil, and it's got a blue fire, which is oh, I love it so much. I love I love the new soy soil. Um, so yeah, yeah. Bedrock is missing out quite a lot of features, but obviously. Bedrock and Java both have their ups and downs. I personally prefer Java since obviously I've been playing it the entire time. Um, but Bedrock does have its advantages. For example, it's got better multiplayer. Um, actually, the servers aren't as good, but it's got like invitations, which is much better. It's got... You can move a chest with pistons. I did not know that. And it's it's early. It's, it's amazing. Um, uh, moving, moving chests is just going to... Game changer. Ooh, okay. So the fireplace is going to be right here. Um, but it is going to take quite a lot of space, which I did not foresee. Um, since we're going to have to obviously have some nether rack. Um, how long is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Maybe three wide nether racks. Let's set that on fire to get a baseline. Get ourselves some sandstone walls. Um, yep, that's sandstone walls. I like it when the pig named Brits before Java. Uh, okay. Um, I built Hogwarts Home before it, but it wasn't so good. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Um, I'm sure Hogwarts is fine. Um, how old was I before I? How old was I when I came a Harry Potter fan? Um, that is a good question. When did I become a Harry Potter fan? 
uh, I mean, I've, been, I've been a Harry Potter fan since as long as I can remember. I think I came home one... I can remember reading the Prince of Azkaban when I was... It was year three, UK. So I don't know what that is. Um, how old was I in year three? I think that is six. So I think I started when I was like five or something. Since yeah, it's five. Does that five sound about right? I think it was. I think five. Hey Charlie, please vlog to the stream. Um, how's your Hogwarts going, Charlie? I haven't seen you in quite a long time. Right, guys, some cut sandstone. Build up the fireplace like that, and some walls. All right, you see my lacking building skills right here. Um, <laughs> copy that. Paste it there. Paste that there. Okay, that is not bad. Um, I think we should decoration actually. So let's grab ourselves some. I mean, chimney, yeah, I will be chimney just picking up there. That is accurate to the model, so that is good. One of the times when the Hogwarts interior sort of matches the exterior, but not quite, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Right, that is that. And then we want some decorations, actually. So, put up. Like so. Uh, put these down here, actually. Like that. Then add these and slabs, actually. Um, cut sandstone slabs always look good. Have them across there. Cut sandstone slabs across there actually. Um, then a slab there. It says some stone actually. I think sandstone slabs right there. So how's everyone doing? How's everyone going in tutorial? Is tutorial um, getting down? Year three seventy eight. It might be. I personally, I've just completely forgotten when year year three is. <laughs> Um, it might be. Probably is. Um. What texture pack I'm using? This is a custom texture pack I have been developing for Hogwarts, which will be available upon um, my release of the map. So, keep an eye out for that. Alright, let's push this up like so. Like that. That looks, oh, that looks okay. Um, I will perfect it later since it's not the best. <laughs> I will admit, um, and I can go be like the fire shoot up there, the chimney. Um, when is part 12? Um, yeah, so Friday or Monday, as Fukiel said, depending on when I can upload. Um, first, it is that, no, so I've actually changed my upload schedule to schedule, 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 I don't know. I've, I've um, changed it to Fridays and Mondays since... I think a one day turnaround between recording it and uploading it is just, it's a bit hard. It's a bit hard on me, it's kind of a stressful um, Sunday just editing non-stop, so I decided to move it to Monday. Since it just gives me a little more time to do some recording. Um, it wouldn't hold it some survival very. That is awesome. What well, if you say a bad thing? You'll probably just be muted, Ethan. Um, Cohen, you, um, do you know all the ways to the, um, the house? Wait. Do you know all the ways the house get to the common room? Um, and I say that, do I know where all the common rooms are? So this is Gryffindor common room, um, obviously, because I'm building it. <laughs> um, Ravenclaw common room is in the central tower. Hufflepuff common room is ne near the kitchen, so I'm going to board it somewhere around here. And then Slytherin common room is in the dungeons, which is... Well, the potions classroom is down there, so I guess the Slytherin common room is down that tower. That's what I think that's where it is in some in some maps of Hogwarts, so I'll board it there. Right. Oh, this looks so nice. I love it. Head into here. Right, so. We just add some decorations, since obviously it's, it doesn't look Gryffindor right now. And what I love to do is... Okay, right, we need carpet. So I guess we have a carpet there. Obviously, I, will, um, I need to edit a carpet texture, since that looks disgusting right now. It needs some texture. It needs some decoration. So, yeah. And then around here, we can just add in some, some banners. Um... Give it a kind of Gryffindor kind of vibe. Um, yeah, that's kind of gold colour. Maybe we should go with um, yellow. Yellow banner. Like that. Oh, that let's go. Um, Track to the Pilting Skyblock, maybe later. 
<laughs> not test, yeah, do not test Fuku's patience. When I chase eggs and I featured in admin show... Wait. Uh, where are... When I chase and I getting featured in an admin showdown? So I was serious. We can do that. That would be fun. I would... That would be really fun to do, actually. Um, that would be fun. Um, how to get there. Oh, yeah. So, I... Uh, the stairs are such a pain. I'm really scared of these stairs. So what I was planning to do is have this corridor kind of wrap around here. Um go over to here and then attach to this um, staircase here which is in the grand staircase and actually one thing I need to do is actually just test if these are at the same height since if they're not that's gonna be a problem so let's wrap this round and just pray no of course not <laughs> of course they're not at the same height yep I will definitely add a lion banner okay so these are not at the same height not a big deal I think we can just edit that a bit uh because obviously this had to be above this height here since this is this very troublesome archway which is uh just adds a massive division in the staircase in the uh, in hogwarts i hate it um so that is very irritating obviously we'll have a spiral staircase in this tower here as well i don't know why it's solid oh there it already is a spiral staircase in here once i build that i have no idea once i build that staircase anyway um Okay, so that is a good point, Jennifer. So, in the first um, two films, for sure, uh, Gryffindor Corner Room was in the location where I'm building it right now. However, in the Prince of Azkaban, they decided to move it to the Grand Staircase Tower, which is obviously here. Um, but I slightly disagree with that, since it doesn't really make sense to have a the tower in the Grand Staircase Tower, and I think in later films it did return to this location here. It just makes a bit more sense have it in this location here so that's where I'm gonna have it in here. Can I show you the moving staircases? Yes I can. Um, so these are the masterpiece of my uh, build partner Mr. Ansk. He's been working on rotating staircases. So if I do slash slash um, slash function um, staircase random hopefully oh I think it's this one. Right, keep an eye on this one. Just keep an eye on it. Yes there we go. Um, it obviously will be smoother on higher performing um, desktop since my laptop's pretty slow. Um, but yeah, it rotates. That is so cool. And then we can go up here and be on this floor instead. Um, I guess we can do it again. And it'll do another staircase, which will be... I need to wait for it to make the sound. There we go. That one there. And that will look like that. Um, I think it looks really cool. And obviously it's not the quickest on my laptop, um, but it will be fine on... I mean, it, it works fine. It, lo it looks really cool at the same time. Um, yeah, the sound is quite, quite loud, I will admit. Um, the grindstone. <laughs> but I think, I think it's a good sound effect. Um, so yeah, that is the staircases. Um, so yeah, right, let's head over to the common room. And then I think I'm going to... Wow, 45 viewers, that is amazing. Okay, so um, obviously Harry and Ron's dormitory is in this area here. Um, but I don't know how we're going to add any other ones, so that might not be possible. We might only be able to have two dormitories in here, which is going to be a bit disappointing, but I'll try my best. So, uh, all right, I need to get to Riffa's pitch, actually. Screw this, we need pictures. Gryffindor, common room. In the sixth film, it was in the Extremity Tower. I did not know that. Right, read some pictures, since I have no idea what this actually looks like. Um, right. Oh, wow, okay, so, those pictures actually really did help. So, the fireplace is actually much closer to the wall. So, what we can do is just move this to the wall. So, there we go. Move this, I don't know, two blocks. There we go. Oh, no, the fire. That's fine, actually. And, actually, no, undo. Let's move it, two blocks, one block actually, right there. And then around here, we have sort of archways leading into the windows. So if I grab ourselves some stairs, and some brick stairs, which are there, and do that. And then we can do is create an archway around these windows, like so. 
just like that. Obviously, the archways are a bit bigger, but I think for the sake of this, it should be okay. Um, and then add in some endstone brick slabs, like that. And then repeat that onto here, like this. Obviously, this is very improv improvising. Um, I'm going off some very simple reference pictures. Um, so, yeah. Right, and then the actual staircase. So... Gosh, it's very squished in here, isn't it? <laughs> so... I guess we can set up staircase, I guess, along here. So we'll have... This is going to be... The Griffin Gohan is actually going to be really squished, actually. It's going to be really annoying. Um, but I think we'll live with it. Like this. Oops, I cannot build. There we go. There sure are a lot of archways, Koha. There are a lot of archways <laughs> in Hogwarts. Um, too many to count. Oh no, not 20. 206. There we go. Like that. Gosh, it's rather squished in here. Um... Right, I'm trying to wrap my, myself around. Let me just get some more pictures. Gryffindor, tower, paper, model. You've always viewed... Oh, that is that is nice. I... That is... I like that, actually. Um, that idea. Um, that is... I love that, actually. That is so cool. That is awesome. Uh, anyway, let me go on the internet and try to find a paper model for that, because there is one of those paper models out there which they released, which did make sense. Let me try find that. Um, Alright, I need to find this on the internet, so it might not be the easiest to find. There we go. Oh, that makes no sense. Yeah, this doesn't help, doesn't help. Right, let's just make it up. Um, okay, so this is going to be the common room area. And oh, it's so squished and so small. Um, that is pretty sad. So, oh, we're just, just going to try our best in this tiny area we have available. Um, I don't think there's much we can do about it. Which is very annoying. Um, but it is just a small area to deal with. Um, right, let's get a bit more images and see what we have. Yeah, it's not really making sense. Just doesn't... Yeah, I, I hate it. The exterior just doesn't match with the interior. Anyway, let's just, aside from that, let's build the staircase. So, um, right, there's a staircase going up from there. And then... It kind of, it actually kind of winds around at first. So let's grab ourselves some actually cut sandstone slabs and build this kind of winding up. I mean, <laughs> it's obviously a very small staircase, so I don't really know what to do. Um, who likes Nether Update? I love Nether Update. It's so nice. Welcome to Stream Random Guy. Um, I love New Nether Update. It is so lovely. I love it so much. Um, I think it's great, great update. They did a really good job with it, and I am I'm I'm addicted to it. I have an SMP on it, which I just died on, which is really sad. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's so such a good update, best update so far, and it's just it's such it's so much better than one point fifteen. Since one point fifteen, they literally just added bees, and that was it. It was very very anticlimactic, I must admit. Um, but now they've added proper stuff and it is just so much better so good job mojang all right i thought the staircase up like so up to here put up a wall around it and this is going to lead to the actual dormitories so right there the next tutorial is coming out on thursday all right and then there is, it's kind of actually an octagon, so let's put this right there. And then, so we come up here, we wrap round, we reach the top. And this is the balcony where Harry and Ron say kind of presents and say Christmas. And so that is this kind of balcony up here. And so we can go and add that in. 
with, uh, let's do some Ensnare Brick Walls. Yes, the out of the green fire, that would be really, really cool. Um, <laughs> for blue powder. But I mean, the blue fire is quite cool too. Quite like it. And, okay, so. All we need to do is add this tiny balcony in. Right there. Uh, what's my favourite thing? What's my favourite thing to build in Hogwarts? Um, clock tower. This building right here. It's always oh, beautiful. I love it so much. It's just so aesthetic, and with shaders on, it especially looks marvellous. And obviously, Mr. Ants has been working on this area as well. So you've got some working doors that open, like so. Oh, they're kind of messed up on my computer. But there we go, they open up with the pendulum behind. Um, and that looks really cool. And then I added this kind of fountain in, and then obviously I added in the 3D models for the birds. Um, yeah, that is my favourite place in Hogwarts, and I think it looks beautiful. Especially in Minecraft. Especially in Minecraft. Right, let's bring ourselves in. Fix the hole. Like that. Uh, there we go. Right, back to the common room. So we have the, the balcony along here. And then there are two dormitories along, actually. So there is the girls' one, Hermione's one, and the boys' one here. Um, so yeah, we just add those in. So this comes up here. Like this. There we go. What if I built Hogwarts in the new nether? Yes, yeah, so the new nether blocks are absolutely awesome. They look beautiful. Um, the blackstone, I've been building my base out of blackstone in the new update. Um, however, I wouldn't want to update this map to 1.16 because I wouldn't be able to reverse it back, which is scary thought. Um, and also, all of the commands and data packs are for 1.14, so I don't think it'll work the best. Oh wow, 45 viewers. Welcome to the stream, everyone who's just joined. That is insane. Alright, so we come up here. Um, this is the balcony. And then... Um, right, I just get a scene of the actual common room now. Of the dormitory. So... Oh, what's going on? Right, okay. Um, uh, new, dorm new dormitory. Okay, so. Um, uh, I'm so bad at one dormitory. Right, so let's just empty. Let's build a way into this tower, of course. It's going to be one of the dormitories, I guess. So. I mean, I've always imagined the dormitory being like right at the top, but evidently it's not. Um, it's just in this bit here. Um, that is weird. Unless we want to edit it. Shall we edit it? Shall we make it our own design? Um, Alright, this is the last time I'm going to say this. If, if anyone else asks this question, just you guys can answer it. Episode 12 is coming out um, either on Monday or on Friday, depending on whether I can record another episode. Um, but yeah, next next week. Right. So what, what do you guys thought? Should we add in our own, uh, make it our own common, common room and add in a spiral staircase? Like up to the top, so we can have a dormitory up here. Or shall we just have, um, like in the movies, where it's literally just a room here. I think I, I want to have a staircase, since it just doesn't... It doesn't really make sense. Um, anyway, let's just go ahead and add in some more banners, since I think we need some more. Like so. Add in some gold, like that. Like so, oops, my bad. Oh no, what am I doing? There we go. And there's some red and gold. And there we go. Obviously, this, obviously this is going to be very very messy for now. Um, but I'm sorry, experimenting with it. And then obviously along here as well. Like that. Add in some yellow. Add some gold. And then some more banners along. Like that. Not bad. It definitely looks like Gryffindor. What well, YouTuber uh, made me decide to want to be a YouTuber? No one. I've always enjoyed making YouTube videos. Um, this is my second channel. Um, my first channel I did some... Well, actually, I did some survival series. It wasn't a big channel to win. I got like 500 subscribers. Um, so nothing compared to this channel. 
Um, but yeah, that was my first channel, and I really enjoyed it. So I decided let's make a Hogwarts tutorial and put that on this channel too, and I've been loving it ever since. Right, so Gryffindor common room is looking, ah, uh, it's looking all right. Um, does that look nice, guys? I, I'm not really a fan of it. Um, oh, no, Twinkie Keys, my bad. I'm not the biggest fan of this. It looks, it looks all right. Um, but I think we could do some more work on it. Um, since it's a bit lacking. Do you guys like it? Do you guys like it? Um. Yeah, I'm alright with it. What do you guys think of it? Um, sorry, my, I've got a really big stream delay, which is really annoying. Um, anyway, so we can add in a number dormitory. So what this is going to do is let's build a kind of archway like this. Like so. Like that. And then this will lead to Harry and Ron's dormitory. Um, which I guess we'll just build kind of on the inside. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible at making decisions. I need to get better at making decisions. I'm terrible. Um, right, so. I think I'm going to have a spiral staircase leading up to these dormitories. Simply for the fact... Yeah! Definitely, definitely, as you said, um, Karina. Um, it just looks so much nicer to have a staircase going up and obviously having the dormitory at the top of the tower rather than down here. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we will do that. So. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. But let's build... Oh, where, I'm, I'm, where am I? I'm lost. Okay, we're up here. Maybe try some red glazed terracotta. Ooh. So the issue with using blocks is, obviously I can't use blocks here since it leads to the outside. But we can try that. Um, give ourselves some, we can try some fire coral. Some, um, I want red concrete powder. Some glazed terracotta, which is down. Oh uh, yeah, that is alright actually. The sun is rising. Oh gosh, am I am I that late? Oh, what is that? Well, oh, that's red fire coral. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just prefer. Oh, it just died. Oh, oh well. <laughs> um, I think I'll I'll stay with the banners for now. Um, in the film one, Harry and Ron's on the web track is building it. Being the fourth, um. Is it ever shown in the fourth? I, I generally avoid the Goblet of Fire since it's not my favourite film. Um, but definitely the Prism Azkaban is in the main tower over there. But yeah. Um, I'm not really a fan of this area actually. It's not. I'm not liking it the best. Um, oh well. Uh, let's add a roof on. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe this will make it look. Maybe this will make it look a bit nicer. So let's go ahead and just drag in a roof. Like so. Okay, one's gone. There we go. Replace zero two oh six. There we go. I mean, it's definitely a homely place. I say, um, it's quite nice. Um, so I guess we just keep with it and just see how it goes. Um, yeah, it's so it's so scary uh, making interior. This is why I don't like interior since it just doesn't match with any of the exterior locations, and so you kind of have to just fit your way around it. To be honest. Um, so yeah, All right. Let's cross like that. How does that look? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. All right. Add that on. Um, I need some more pictures. There's actually a massive window behind here, which we're not gonna be able to do, which is really annoying. Um, what else is there? Um, so this corridor kind of leads into a tower. And, okay, so the roof is actually much higher up. So let's just delete that. So, this leads into a tower on the side, which I guess is this bit here. So, gosh. 
All right, I guess that's just going to be represented by this. And this will go up like this. Around the place. Um, like this. Does that look okay? Okay. And then the roof kind of is on top made out of kind of wooden beams. Uh, okay. So I guess we can add some beams. So we need some strip spruce wood. Oh, let's actually go with dark strip ones. So stripped dark oak log. And some spruce planks. There we go. How to get a Minecraft wand in... So you can't. Um, the wand is part of uh, World Edit, which is a Java mod. So unfortunately, that is not available for Bedrock editions of Minecraft. It's just a Java mod. So unfortunately, you guys on Bedrock edition will be unable to use the World Edit wand. And obviously in real life it's a wooden axe, but I just retextured it to a wand since it's, you know, a Harry Potter wand. I'm so funny, aren't I? Um, okay, right, let's continue this around here. And see how this looks. There we go. Oh, it's definitely removes the look of the kind of, of the disgusting stone bricks we've got going up on the stairs. So let's fix this along there. Like that. Oh, I need this. There we go keeps going up like that and then I guess another beam going across um, like this and then with some more spruce planks going up just like that um, like that oh that looks a bit I'm not the biggest fan of that um, I think it's just because of of the way it's done um, yeah that's weird how come my server is for moderators only? Um, okay, so I currently host two servers. So the first server I host is a Patreon member server, which is where Patreon members who support me on Patreon, they have access to this server um, where they can you know, go on Hogwarts. And then the one with 16 server I'm running is just for me and my real life friends, which we're just having fun on. Um, but anyone who supports me on Patreon will have access um, to my Hogwarts world as a world, as a world, so we able to play on it. Um, so yeah, anyone um, who supports on Patreon has access to a world on the server, and from a certain tier and above, they will have also have access to world downloads. So yeah, that is that. Actually, from what I see, I think this balcony goes along the whole way, basically. Yeah. Okay, so this goes along here, and then we have the staircase. Okay, right. Let's just build a staircase. I love bonus power staircases. All right, let's get ourselves some cut sandstone slabs. Right here. And just start building this up. All right, put this gap right there. What's this gap here for? Just a little pathway I'm built. Oh, we've got a pathway up here as well. Okay, so this can lead into this RS I guess, I guess, if we get it to link up. Obviously it doesn't, we'll just ignore it, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and build up a staircase up here. Hey Chase, welcome to the stream. Um, when do you think, what, which do you think is better, the Harry Potter books or movies? Definitely the books, 100% the books. Um, if, if you ever have the opportunity, 100% read the books rather than watch the film. Since the books just inspire so much more imagination, um, they include so much more detail, and since the movies gloss over some bits, which is very shown in the Goblet of Fire and Half-Blood Prince and films, they change a lot of stuff, they hide a lot of stuff, they forget a lot of stuff, and yes, definitely watch the films. Um, no, definitely read the books if you can. So, yeah. Right, we need to build a sort of interior circle, actually. Um, so we have these windows. Okay, so, what we need to do is just stand here. Slash slash eight uh, right G mask um, air right actually no G mask zero slash slash H sill radius three ten nothing oh wait radius two no the nothing oh no my bad two is six there we go oh no. Alright, so that's a three. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be our 
staircase. Let's change the 20. There we go. All right, I'm going to start the staircase right off here. Is this the right place? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm so bad at on streaming. I'm definitely better at building this better at building than I am showing myself on stream. This is embarrassing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Up here. All right. Let's get a floor of smooth sandstone and build a staircase. So, um, how are we gonna do this? So it kind of comes in. Uh, it comes in there. Okay. So you can add, break these blocks here, add in a instant bricks there, right there. And that's alright. That's alright. Okay. That's okay. And then just build up. Do I like Star Wars? Yes, I love Star Wars. Um, so my favourite movie is, uh, I think it's going to be The Empire Strikes Back. Um, but... Aside from the prequels, I absolutely loved Rogue One. Absolutely loved it. Um, so that'd be probably my favourite kind of non um, non original trilogy film. Definitely Rogue One. Amazing film right there. Right, so. Spiral Staircase time. Right, let's have a go and try to build a Spiral Staircase. So let's go up. Like so. Like that. It's quite, it's quite a narrow star circuit actually, um, which is okay, I guess. And then that'll just go up and lead to the dormitory up here. And obviously, are we able to link up with this roof thing? I don't think we were able to, were we? Since that's yeah, we can't. Okay, I oh will. That's fine. My favorite film is The Prisoner of Azkaban. It's got a beautiful music and it's got beautiful cinematography and it generally was just a very well done film. My favourite film by far. Um, after that, probably... Oh, I don't know actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. After that. <laughs> um, yeah, what are the favourite film after Prison of Azkaban? Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Actually, wait, can we even have a spiral circus in here? The Buddha Hall was right now, William. That is awesome. Alfonso, it sure was a beast. Rogue One was really good. Yes, it was. Okay, um... I don't think we can actually have a spiral staircase, can we? Um... Since if you have a spiral staircase, how are we actually going to get into dormitory? Um... Alright, we might have to just undo that then. Which is annoying. So I think we actually are going to have the um, the boys dormitory in the actual tower rather than at the top. Since we need the door at the side rather than um, at this prior staircase. That is disappointing, to say the least. Um, but I think we can live with it. I think. Alright. Why is Great Hall at a strange angle? Well, the Great Hall is at a strange angle compared to the rest of Hogwarts. Um, if I go and show you, you head to the Great Hall, blah, 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 go down here, go down here, go down here, go down here, and exit the Great Hall. So as you can see, it is at a different angle to the rest of Hogwarts. It's at a 45 degree angle. Well, actually, it's more like 30 degrees. But in Minecraft, a 45 degree is basically as close as we can get since it's diagonal. Um, so yeah, it's at this different angle compared to the rest of Hogwarts, um, and that is just how we have to build it. So, yeah, it's quite annoying, but we can deal with it, to be honest. Uh, reading the chat. You bought your I bought your castle, but Minecraft reset. Oh no, it's gone! Um, how the what? So I'm making it. That's awesome, William. I'm hope I'm glad it helped. Hey, Jack, if you're going to put the classroom in Hogwarts, what would be the first one you put in? Um, probably the Transfiguration Department, actually. I think I'll put that one in first. Um, from Star Wars, you build a Millennium Falcon or a Star Wars That is a cool idea. That is very cool. Might do that. Hey, well, welcome back, Rex. Your favourite scene is the movie AKA Day House Part 2. Yes! Oh, the music of Deathly Hallows is beautiful. Absolutely love it. Both Part 1 and 2. I like Tonto Death Plot. Loved the music. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely loved it. 
every second of it. Right. Let's build a common room. So, uh, add in the floor, I guess. No, we, th we need the window up here, though. Gosh, this is annoying. Welcome back, Rags. Welcome back. Um, right, this interior is a mess. Alright, you can probably tell this is why I hate interior. It's just such an annoying thing to do. Um, I might need to go do some research. After all this time. I ah, I find the always statement quite controversial. I I don't really like it. Since it's... It's rather weird. Um, like... Yeah. Like, I think what it's not... I think it's just showing that, um... Snape, the reason he loves looking after Harry is because it's like... Love the Lily was kind of still existing. But I don't think... Because obviously Dumbledore seems surprised. Which I found a bit odd, since I don't think Snape would ever have lost his love for Lily. But... Yeah. I don't know. Hey, Will. Welcome to the stream. Yes, it's definitely Hallows. Ah, the music was good. I found part one um, a little boring, if I must admit. It wasn't very interesting. Um, the music the music was good when it had music, but it was just silent scenes, which I found a bit weird. Um, but apart from that, it was quite good. Um, yes, I am building the Gryffindor common room. It's not going well. Um, since I, I hate building on stream, in general, um, I'm okay with building exterior locations, but interior locations, it just requires a lot of work and a lot of research, and so it just doesn't go too well, so, yeah. Can I put anything in the long gallery? Not yet, no. Um, I'll build that later. Right, let's just build this tower right here, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess we can have it leading up to this window, and that can be one of the windows in the tower. Um, I think that will make sense, so we just fill in this gap actually. Uh, this can be one of the windows I guess in the dormitory. Obviously it's a bit low down as well, which is very irritating. Um, I need to get some ideas since I'm hopeless at this. Gosh. I am going to building all corner rooms, yes. Prince of Azkaban is sure is the best. You saw those Deathly Hallows in cinema last week, that is really cool. Not that you can find that in the cinema still. Right, let's actually get building. So I think we might need to, like to move this window down a bit to kind of accommodate this corner room. Like so. And then, add to the rest of the room space, I don't know, what, what are we going to do? I might need to look, obviously I'm probably going to have to go and tear this down. Um, and redo it to be honest which is really sad um but it's it's okay um other prince can no longer have been the best filmed if he had worked more he could have been truly incredible i yeah the the hobble of princess is my least favorite film it just missed out so much stuff and it just oh, it wasn't the best um since it it was more of a romance film rather than an actual film film. Um, it wasn't a Harry Potter film at all. It just it glossed over so much important stuff. Which, yeah, it missed out all the Voldemort stuff, um, basically. And then Harry and Ginny had, like, zero romance. It was absolutely horrible. Harry had more romance with that bar tender at the start of the film than Ginny in the whole film. Um, and it was very anticlimactic when they kissed. It was not well done. Um, oh, my gosh. Trapdoors are in this section, aren't they? Oh, Death Star. Ooh, that'll be big. My favourite Harry Potter character is... Um, so, it's... I think I've got to say Oliver Wood. I, it's a bit weird. It's a bit of a weird one. But I absolutely love Oliver Wood so much. Um, I love him. I love Oliver Wood. I, 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 oh, he's so good. <laughs> um, he's just so funny. Um, the way he just goes on about Quidditch, like, you know, you can't cancel Quidditch, Professor. And I just love that about him. Um, obviously his detention to Quidditch is great. But then obviously I love uh, Luna, Ginny, Hermione are kind of like all kind of equal. And then Sirius is one of my favourite characters as well. 
Goblet of Fire, yes, Goblet of Fire. We do not talk about Goblet of Fire in this stream. It literally just banned, just no Goblet of Fire. Um, the movie, um, as an actual film, was a decent film. But as a Harry Potter film, it was a terrible adaptation since, some spoilers, it missed out the entire mystery part of the actual film, which is what I found the most interesting. Oh, in a, oh god, this bed's not going to work well, are they? Might have put it up here. Um, yeah, we might have to put it up here. Anyway, so the, um, so what I found annoying about the Hoppler Prince, um, no, sorry, about the Goblet of Fire, was the whole book was set on these mysteries. So there was a mystery of who killed the old man, um, Frank Bruce, at the start of the film. There was a mystery of, so there was the mystery of Bertha Jorkins, where she'd gone. There was the mystery of, um, who set up the Dark Mark at the Quidditch match. There was the mystery of Rita's how Rita Skeeter was getting all of her information. There was a mystery of the disappearance of Bartimius Crouch. Um, there was a mystery of why Harry saw Barty Crouch investigating Snape's stores. Um, and there was all of these mysteries, which just, they weren't addressed in the first few films, uh, in, in the film. And I found that really annoying since they were really interesting. That's why I love the, um, the Goblet of Fire as a book, since they're all, it's like, it's basically a murder mystery. And then they're all kind of shown at the end when Barty Crouch gets revealed. But the film has none of that. The film shows Barty Crouch from the start. It shows in Cast in the Dark Mark. And it was a comedy in general after the incredibly dark film of the Paris of Azkaban, which was an incredible cinematic masterpiece. You had Mike Newell, who, instead of following on from Alfonso's dark thing, he wanted to create something unique, which he failed to do. He created a comedy which was more bright, more comedic, and just less serious. And it kind of reduced the fact of The Goblet of Fire being a serious book about the dark kind of turns of the Wizarding World introducing Death Eaters. And the Quidditch World Cup, it wasn't even shown. Like, whenever I read that or listen to the, um, the Quidditch World Cup, it's so exciting to read. And yeah, to Body the Crouch, he didn't die. In, well, he doesn't die, he gets his soul sucked out. I did not ban Kelly from my Discord server, no. Um... Yeah, the movie is definitely a repentant comedy. The British that connects the Great Hall in the East Wing shifts in Harbour Prince 8, so I'm glad you're doing it the previous way. Yes, in Harry Potter 8, sorry. Yes, so it obviously shifts from between the Violet Entrance and the Great Hall. So it shifts to a larger courtyard and it extends into the hills, which I just, I hate it. Um, if the common room confuses you, where did, yeah, I know, where did the, the, the where did they sleep? Because in the film, there's literally one common room there, there's one common room here, and that's about it. Like, that is literally it. Um, James had a good theory, actually, where it was, it just opens up wherever you are. So all the guards go this way, they open the door, and they enter their own dormitory. Um, since when... When Harry and Ron went to the girls' dormitory, they went up their kind of staircase, and some other fourth year, um, some other girls are coming downstairs, rather than Hermione in there in a different year. So that would kind of make sense to that theory. Um... My favourite, who's my favourite Dada? Yeah, I know, it's a Mike Newell. We don't get started on Mike Newell. He was literally like, this book is so long. He says that in every single interview. He literally just rants about the length of the book. And it's just really sad. He just fails. And he wanted to burn down the entire Finn and Forest. He didn't even read the book. Um, so yeah, and Winky, of course. There's no Winky, which is annoying as well. Um, yeah, you are Jaffeed, I know. My favourite Dada teacher. As an actual teacher, um, Lupin, obviously, best Dada teacher. Though, I think the way Snape, the way Snape betrayed the Dark Arts as a never-ending fight, um, force, who were like, when you cut off one head, two grow back, I think that was a really good description. And Hermione and Ernie, they definitely saw it as a good, as a good, as a good thing, rather than Harry was like, he loved the Dark Arts and he didn't like it. However, I thought it was a really good description, so I quite liked it. Um... Oh, oh, right, Barty Crouch Senior. Sorry. Um, it does, I mean, it's hinted that he dies, that he's killed by Barty Crouch in the film. In the film, obviously he dies, and it's after, um, so in the film, Crouch does realise that Malay Moody is his son, since he talks about internships in the Department of Mysteries, and then he does this kind of like iconic, like, tongue flicker. And then the look in his face, I think that represents him actually realising who it is. And that's why he takes action and kills him. Um, but obviously, 
in the book it's different um, and the whole scene different and portrayed differently um, but obviously that was all missed out in the film um, yeah so yeah they obviously come up and then it becomes a slide and the two girls come downstairs ooh who came up a staircase and they're really outraged in Order of the Phoenix and uh, Reese Stephen King okay um, there's a room for each character yeah in it says yeah so that's what I found really weird um, since Obviously it does, yes, and Eternity Seeks it does say that they go through a door with second year on the door. But I think, well obviously the way James put it, was... Um, well, I guess it just changes for each person, since this is not going to accommodate, well how many students are there, there's 8 per year set, there's not going to come with 56 students in this one tower, just no way. Um, so I just found that really weird. Um, but yeah, it's just one of the mysteries of Hogwarts. I mean, it's a magic school, obviously, they've got their magic stuff. Body Crouch is in the maze scene, but he dies for that in the book. In the book, in the book he dies, um, one month before the third task, when Harry, Crumb, and Fleur and Cedric are shown the maze for the first time, and then Crumb leads Harry aside to talk about Hermione, and then Crouch turns up, and then he disappears and dies. Um... But um, in the in the film, he just dies after the third task when they're seeing Hoggy Hoggy Hogwarts. Do you have a theory that only the main characters get sleep? That's quite good. I like that. Wormtail's death was very lame. Did he even die in the film? Because I have I have a memory that he does that his hand strangles him, but I I can't visualize him dying in the book in the films. I yeah. Yeah, only Harry and Ron see this sign of something that might change. Yeah, and that makes sense, definitely. Um, yeah, that definitely does make sense. Right, I think we're going to leave Gryffindor Common Room. It's obviously a very important place. I don't want to screw it up. Let's just build some more corridors. So, this is going to carry on. And then I think we can have a side door leading here. Then a staircase going up and attaching to this place here, actually. So, what we are going to do is continue this down. So, bring this up, then to here, like that. Actually, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be lazy. <laughs> Since laziness is just how Minecrafters work. And um, stack. There we go. Like that. Very easy easy. Oh no, I did it wrong. Um... Yeah, and he never dies. See ya. No, he... Oh yeah, he gets knocked out by Dobby, doesn't he? That's how it has in the films, yes. Um, that, oh, it sucked so much. I hated it. <laughs> um, yeah, we just don't... Ugh, very, very poorly done, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, let's actually carry on with the interior, since it's quite important. So we come across here... Come to here. Take this vision here. I think. I think. And then we do copy, flip, paste like that. Does that work out? Yep, that worked out. Cool. Um, body correct. If it changed, then how did Fred, Harry, George... So I think in the books, obviously they have their separate dormitories, yes. But in the films, um, there's no there's no space for all the dormitories. Um, where am I in the castle? I am in the west wing. I'll just pop out here. I am right here. Go for a tower up right there. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> where did that come from? That's weird. Let's throw that. Um, let's read this. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, okay, so in the books, I, I, I just, I, I guess they have their separate dormitories, but it just doesn't make sense in the films, there's not enough space in the, in these towers to have a viable seven, eight dorm, no, have a viable 14 dormitories, it just doesn't make sense. Um, Body Crash, Lini, Body Crash Senior leans over Cedric when they pull key back. No, he doesn't, he dies after the third, ta uh, second task, um, since Harry, Ron, and Hermione are walking through the, in Forest of Hagrid, 
and then Harry's kind of separate, and he finds his dead body. That's that's when he sort of, that's when he's seen dead. Yes, they don't they don't specify that, do they? Um, that Umbridge sent the Dementors after Harry. Oh gosh, can we just can we even Umbridge rant people? Okay, guys, Umbridge rant in the chat now. Rant about Umbridge now. Just rant about Umbridge since we hate her so much, don't we? <laughs> oh my god, I hate her so much. Um, umbridge, 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 Umbridge. Um, yeah. I mean, okay, Imelda Staunton, she did a great job portraying Umbridge um, since. Um, absolutely amazing job with Umbridge. It was really well done. We all hated her. Um, so yeah. Yeah, in the films, um, Barty Crouch Jr. Is, see is found dead by Harry. He sees his bowler hat sticking out from the book, um, from the tree when he's walking with um, Harry, Ron, and Hermione through the forest with um, with Hagrid singing the Hoggy Hoggy Hogwarts song. I'll get the scene for you. Yes, I, I love Umbridge. Um... I loved Umbridge so, so much. Um, it was really good. Um, in the books as well. Um, I didn't know, I hate her as a character, but like, I think in the film, she was really well acted out by Emma Thornton. Absolutely amazing. Um, incredible job right there. Am I doing this right? That's right. That. Only mildly positive. Oh my gosh, Umbridge's theme tune. This is so good. I love it. Dun, 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 dun. It's really good. Turn the piano. It's great. Um, no, Cram, what's up? What was it about Hermione and they found? No, no, I'm talking about the books. I'm talking about the film, sorry. Obviously, in the film, they find him dead, but in the books, obviously, um, Crum and Harry go off to talk about Hermione and Harry's feelings towards her, and Harry's like, we're just friends, we're just friends, we're just friends. And then Crum turns up, and then, sorry, and then Crouch turns up, and he's like, mad because he's on the run from because he just escaped his house um from Voldemort can I just ask an important question of course you can I know I just ah oh, when Dumbledore says I'm rich I'm just like why what why did you save her just, just leave her in the forest with the centaurs Um, what do I think about the cursed child? Okay, so I have mixed opinion. So as a as Harry Potter canon, I despise it. It is not Harry Potter canon um, since it obviously breaks the laws of time. J.K. Rowling established in the Prince of Azkaban where the rule is everything has already happened and you can't change the past. It already happened. Um, and that's not Obviously, the cursed child breaks that. It just doesn't. It just ignores it and just goes ahead to break time, um, which I hated. I personally found that very irritating that they did that. Um, but um, I, I found it really annoying. I found that I just I hated it. Um, but I guess they tr they tried to save it by saying that 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 um, there was that law about not going more than three hours back in time. And that was their kind of a cover-up attempt, I believe, of trying to make it a viable excuse. Um, but it didn't really work. The oh damn it, it didn't really work the best. Um, so yeah, as a play, when I saw it in London, um, um, beautiful, absolutely brilliant. The play was very well done. The I think Harry was a bit off, but I was like. If you set if you set aside from Harry Potter, and just have it as a as a play itself, it was amazing. The, the way they did it was beautiful. Like the Polyjuice potion, the flu powder, the um, the Patronuses, the de the Dementors were generally terrifying. Um, like when the Dementors came on stage, oh my gosh, they really did send shivers down your spine. They were. Ter well, they're not terrifying, but yeah, they they did send shivers down your spine. I can definitely say that. Um, as for the habit effect, not really, but it was incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, 
the play on stage. If you ever get an opportunity to go, I highly recommend checking it out. It was oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful to watch. Really good job on the actual play itself. But as for being canon, no thanks. I'm just going to ignore it and just... I mean, they've really just written a book about Harry and Ron's aura training rather than some just random teenager being grumpy and causing a lot of errors. <laughs> um, that's my opinion. Yeah, it's not my favourite. But I can live with it. I just... If I don't like it, I mean, it's, it's in my in my in my opinion, um, Harry Potter is how you want to see Harry Potter. You don't need to if you don't want to see it as canon, just don't see it as canon. It's very simple. So yeah, um, you got a little trivia. Yep, sure. Send up the trivia. Love some trivia. Like, when have you got like a real life friend who knows Harry Potter? It's just like, oh, best friends already. <laughs> um, since you can just trivia, you can send Harry Potter memes that you only you get, and it's great. Right. Send off the trivia. I'm actually really excited now. I was getting embarrassed if I get wrong. Get trivia wrong in front of 37 other people. Oh, I've been pinged in my little server. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. He's pinged me. How many years does Lily give to Harry for protection? So she died, um, so she died in, well, she died on Hallow's Eve. Was it Hallow's Eve or Halloween? I think it was Hallow's Eve. Um, so that's when she died. She died in 1982. So it lasts until, so she died when, she died when Harry was one and a bit. So October the 30th. Was it Hallow's Eve or Hallow's Ween? October 30... October 30 or 31st, 1982. And then it worn off, so I guess... Well, one and a bit. So just... 15 and like... I can't do maths. 15 and 10 months? 15 and 9 months, I think. Um... Yeah, so basically 16 months. How many staircases are there in the Grand Staircase? Um, I don't know. Um, but in the books, it says there are 142 staircases at Hogwarts. Um, that's not obviously just this staircase, it's obviously all the other staircases. Um, so that's how many staircases are at Hogwarts, 142. Um, do not count me on that. Uh, yeah, it, I think it was Hallow's Eve, rather than Halloween. Um, yeah, Hallow's Eve, because obviously in the Cursed Child, Harry's like, I've not had the best of Hallow's Eve, have I? And looking at his blanket, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, Hallow's Eve. 142, yeah. Sorry, I do have a bit of a stream delay, so if you guys are sending the answers in the chat, it's not because I'm already reading them. I see the answer, then I don't talk through it, but then, obviously, you guys probably already sent the answers before I actually say stuff, since there's a bit of a bit of a stream delay, which is quite annoying. Um, but yeah. So, Hallow's Eve, October the 30th? I don't know when Halloween is. Halloween 31st? Yes. I don't know. I don't, I don't celebrate it. Do not celebrate it at all. Right, copy this side. Like that. Then that there. Any more trivia questions? I quite enjoyed it. Just send some random trivia questions in chat and I'll try to answer them. Um, send really hard ones, preferably. <laughs> um, Rex. Um, yes, I know Jafid is that person. Pajabi Gamer. You've added... Um, yeah, so they're just random, and we have like 60 now, so yeah. Uh, what's my house? I am a... I am a Ravenclaw. Um, which is the rent? Yeah, you are Chase. My favourite wand? Um, I have a favourite wand, but my possible wand is a cherry core with a phoenix feather core. Since, sorry, cherry wand and phoenix feather core, sorry. Um, since, you know, summer birthday. So yeah. So I like Harry, um, Happy Hogwarts. <laughs> Such a good Harry Potter theme tune. Love it. Hannah Abbott marries Neville Longbottom. Oh, sorry, I missed a question. Yeah, it was the first one to be sorted in year one. Yep, Hannah Abbott, the first um, Gryffindor. The first Gryffindor was Lavender Brown. First Ravenclaw was Terry Boot. First Slytherin was Millicent Bulstrode. 
name the ingredients for the Apologies Potion. Lace wing flies. I'm not a potions geek. Ah, uh, I just, I haven't read the Chamber of Secrets a lot. It's just my least favourite book to read. Not because it's a bad book, because I've read it as like a child and I just terrified of that snake. And I've just never liked it ever since because of that snake. Um, and that's a really pathetic excuse, but I really did not like the snake. It terrified me as a child. So, yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, lacing flies. Um, that's all I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know much about potions. My friends are nerd about potions. Keep sending the trivia questions. They're quite fun. And I'll try not to read the answers. Um, since, yeah. Remember that one stream? Yes, we did just, we just, we did one stream of just Harry Potter quizzes. That was fun. That was really fun. Um, that was really fun. Keep sending the Harry Potter trivia questions. I think it's quite nice. Just kind of chill with some Harry Potter trivia questions and then obviously just build Minecraft, build Hogwarts at the same time. I think it's very fun. All right, let's just delete the staircase. This is quite annoying. There we go. Deleted. Oh, G mask. Right, there we go. Oh, I bought. Sell seal. Pause one. Pause radius two. Radius three. There we go. What's my favourite subject? Oh yeah, booze and skins. I'm sorry. Well, my favorite subject is defense against dark arts. I also like transfiguration. How many subjects? And his smell was six hundred and ninety-five. Oh, ninety-two. Six hundred ninety-two. I think. Um, how many subjects are taught on Ron's birthday, thirteenth of March? I know it's March thirteenth. Um, so I think uh, first. Yeah, I think the first of March. Yeah, first of March. There we go. Um, yeah, first of March. Um, how um, when, how many subjects are taught at Hogwarts? I think it's 14 from my head. Let's count them through. So there's um, obviously the core subjects. So I'm going to block for Transfiguration, Defense and Dark Arts. Um, defense and Dark Arts. Um, oh, this is dying, damn it. So Transfiguration, Dada, Potions, Arithmancy. Um, oh, Astronomy. I wish you got more Astronomy. That is the same. Charismatical Creatures. I'm definitely going to miss them out. Just kind of being stupid. Um, I guess Quidditch? Yeah, flying. Herbology. Um, who else is that? I'm sorry. I'm going to forget loads of subjects. I'm going to sound really dumb. Charms. Um, Michael Studies. Divination. Um, oh, 665. Sorry. Holt is a thousand years old. Um, then there are obviously the optional ones. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really, I can't do this under pressure. I can't think of things. Um, I'm okay with like short snappy ones. Um, Hogwarts was founded like a thousand years ago. I'm not sure if the date's ever published. I don't really read Pottermore that much. So it's probably said somewhere around there. Um, and then obviously there are the extracurricular subjects, which are taken when there's like kind of more, uh, if there's more interest. And there's like kind of like, there's, some more kind of divination, arithmetic kind of type stuff. There's some advanced astronomy, and there's just some more stuff. And yeah, there's animacy, there's cool studies, a history of magic. Um, well, actually, no, history of magic, cool subject. And um, so, yeah. Hey, Marco. Yeah, 21. Okay, cool. All right. Let's build this. Sorry, I'll take a case right now. Is this edge? Cool, it is. Right. This is going to come into here, like so. What makes the food for the Great Hall? Um, well, it's just the uh, elves in the kitchens beneath, and it just kind of gets magically transported through the ceiling. Um, that's the Great Hall. And then Harry just, um, it's not confirmed in the books, but Harry just supposes that magic just transports them up. Um, and obviously you cannot transfigure food since that is since food is one of the three elemental things of Gamp's transfiguration laws. It cannot be duplicated. Right, let's build this a spiral staircase. Going down. Going down level two. I don't know why I said that, I'm sorry. Alright, spiral staircase. 
going down. And hey look, if you're on my Discord server, you'll understand this meme. I am building a spiral staircase, not a square staircase. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, there we go. What's my favourite creature? Um, my favourite creature, oh yeah, this is just that. Niffler. <laughs> um, <laughs> last sentence, screw you, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Niffler, 100% Niffler. They are adorable when they're shown in the chapter in the Goblet of Fire. Very cuddly. <laughs> right, where is the ground floor? Oh, that's not, that's the wrong way. Okay, the ground floor is quite a bit down. Um. How many, taught a hog how many tablets are taught at Hogwarts and also studied in the Muggle world? I also think for like equivalents, because like nothing is the same, um, I guess, except... I mean, Herm Hermione shows a diagram of a Muggle lifting stuff, and so I guess that could be physics? Um, like, could be like the, you know, work done equation. Um, and I guess astronomy is similar, um, since I guess they study them both. Um. Will I make the Transfiguration classroom? It'll just be in the long gallery somewhere. Um. I'm just saying astronomy. It's a similar subject. You can take an astronomy GCSC in the UK, so. Oh, Hogwarts subject. No, wait. Is there any more questions? Yeah, astronomy. Is taught in the other world, yes. Um. Any more questions? I saw I saw one. Um Anyway, keep sending them, they're really fun to do. Um JD will see them on my roof of the Great Hall. They pop over there. Dun dum 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 through here. This is my Great Hall roof. Obviously I'm gonna add it a sky later. Um but yeah. How many kids go to school? Well, Hogwarts is not compulsory, it's um parents have the right to not send their student to Hogwarts. Um, but in, well, in the books, there are eight people in Harry's year. No, sorry, eight people in Harry's house. Um, obviously there are unnamed people, but if you go through Harry's year in Gryffindor, there is, well, obviously Harry. Uh, so let's get the boys. There are Harry, Dean, Seamus, Neville, and Ron. The girls in Harry's year in Gryffindor, there are Lavender Brown, Pavati Patil, um... Is that it? I'm missing someone. Lavender Brown, Fatty, Pavil, Patil. Um, that doesn't feel enough. Pavil, Patil, Lavender Brown. I'm missing someone. I swear I'm missing someone. I just can't think when I'm on stream. Um, anyway. Anyway, then there's um, in Hufflepuff, uh, Hannah Abbott, Arnie McMillan, Justin Fitch, Fletchley. Um, then Ravenclaw, there is Terry Boot, um, um, Padma Patil. See ya, see you, Freddy. Hi, do you know who Joe is? <laughs> Who's Joe? Um, thoughts on what J.K. Rowling has been doing? Eloise Midgen is um, in Hufflepuff, yes. Ramona Vane's in the year below Harry. Um, yeah. No, Ramona's in the year below. Um, yeah. Hermione, that's why I was missing. Jesus Christ. How did I forget about Hermione? <laughs> Honestly, my brain works weirdly when I'm on stream. But yeah, Ramona Vane is not in the same year. Ramona Vane's in the year below. No, wait, Mobile Vane's a fourth year, so she's two years below. Yeah, Mobile Vane's a fourth year. Um, right. What is my opinion on the stuff J.K. Rowling has been saying? Um, I think she said it was wrong. It was evidently wrong. She has a very strange opinion on it, but it's her opinion, but I, in my opinion, it's wrong. But it won't change my opinion on Harry Potter, since I respect it as a literature and the world she's created. 
and I don't have to respect the author to respect the series, um, and so it doesn't really affect my love for Harry Potter. It changed my view on her a bit, but I, I, I must admit I haven't really read it about it much. Um, but it, yeah, I have mixed opinions about it to be honest. Should we questions? Let's keep going. Um, next one. What spell kills you instantly? Um, Avada Kedavra. How many beasts are there in the book? Oh my gosh, I haven't read that book. Um, a lot. <laughs> Here's a tip for Optimus Power Case. Make another cylinder in the middle and fill in the gap. Yes, so that is quite smart, but um, obviously you've got to kind of go down with slabs. Yeah, Remolder Vein was a fourth year, obviously. What is your common room tier list? Um, as in my favourite house or like the design of the common room since I think Hufflepuff has the nicest common room. It's kind of like earthly and homey. Then Ravenclaw's one's got a very nice one too. Um, but that's my opinion. All right, there we go, back on the ground floor. And can, is this one able to connect with this spiral staircase? Let's have a look. So this one comes along here, comes to this gap right here. I doubt it's gonna be able to fit. No, of course not. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Faye Dunbar, do not know who that she is. <sighs> Favorite letter of the alphabet. E, for reasons unknown. Right. How are you gonna get into this place? I guess from here. Hmm. Oh, some spells. I'm excited. I love some bells. I love some girls' spells. Eighty one, eighty one beats, okay. Um what cast what spell uh, um Patronus charm? Expecto Patronum. It doesn't scare away, it creates a force of happy happiness which Dementor can't stand and therefore the to kind of is ch um charged away. I'll just quote what um, Lupin said. It is an immensely difficult um, charm. Many witches and wizards are unable to produce a full corporal Patronus. Um, wait, I find. I don't know. I can't find Lupin's quote. But yeah, it repels the dementors with a force of happiness. So yeah. Anyway, I think we did make the staircase in the actual like be in the right place since currently it ends here, and I'd rather it start like over here. So let's go ahead and rotate it around. What, what? Oh, that's cool. Your brother can say there's Rupert Grint. That is awesome. Um, what hell is, heals? What spell heals people? So, um, a Pisky heals like small injuries. Then I guess Brachio Abendo does something, but Lockhart is useless. It does nothing. Then there is healing potions, of course, some general household charms. Fauna or Santa can be used as a feat, as song-like charm, which heals the effects of Sectum Sempra. Um, there is, that's basically it, to be honest. What form is a, my Patronus? My Patronus is a stag on Possible. Um, so yeah. What's going to have to fold? A uh, leaf fold? I have no idea. <laughs> there is an IQ of 190 because turning into dogs so that Dementor couldn't see it was big brain. Oh, it sure was. Um, yeah. I and mean, then again, just turning into a Patronus in, a, in your fifth year is big brain as well. So you've got to give it to him right there. That is big, big, big brain. Right. Let's rotate this staircase around. Alright, let's set this as air. Copy. Rotate 90. Paste. How's that? Is that better? It's alright. Let's rotate it one more. Like that. How's that? Yeah, to give this much more room for a staircase. And then this can go up. 
and then it'll stop here. And then I guess we can just wrap this around. Um, yeah, that fits alright. Um, I'm pretty much also gets rid of Lothal. Okay, I've never really Lothal just like those things in Crimes of World. I haven't read the um, Fantastic Beasts books. Metronus is a nibbling um, cat. See you, Will. Any more trivia questions? I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying this. It's very fun. <laughs> very much enjoying trivia questions right now. Send them my way. Did I, did I say turn into Patronus? Yeah, I'm on stream, Rags. Chill out. I say stupid stuff on stream. I know you don't want to um, editing videos. I say the most stupid things ever. Um, that's just so much pressure. Yeah, obviously, obviously it was an anime, Joey. Obviously. Um, I just, yeah, I say stupid things on the stream. Hey, X, Welcome to the stream. Um, right, any more questions? What spell launches you backwards? Well, Depolto is a banishing charm, which kind of sends the other thing backwards. So I think the one you're getting at... Um, yeah, it's Flipendo, I think. Yeah, Flipendo. Um... What romance do Harry and Ron suspect in the Half Blood Prince? So I'm Reddit, okay. Um, as in between? Oh, between who? Um, I don't really know. Who would they suspect? I mean, Ron suspected Har Hermione and Cormac for a bit, I guess. Um, when they kind of fell out. Um. I don't really know what else. I don't know. I don't really know. Sorry. <laughs> How many exceptions are there to Gantt's elemental law? So. The exceptions that are... Um, five. Seven so souls to the sound of the snake. There are five, um, including food, um, la, um, food like gold. So, um, you know, because um, obviously you wouldn't be able to be duplicating your Gringotts gold. Um, so obviously gold's in there. Then I believe I don't know what the other ones are. I think you can't transfer a soul. Um, Thank you, Vanny, for two... Yeah, thank you for two great subs, everyone. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's what you meant. Yes. Um, they suspect that Filch and Madame Pince are having a romance together since um, Harry insulted um, um, Filch and then Madame Pince chased him away and then Harry and Hermione like, I always suspect there was something between them. Yeah, okay, I remember that now. Sorry. Um, I thought you. I thought it was like a fan theory, so I was a bit confused. Um, but yeah, yeah, they suspect that in the Half of a Prince. Which, and the actual sound was Draco behind them. Hearing Hermione's plan on smuggling stuff in. You said that Patronus has been let like 20 times. I've read it, don't worry. Any more trivia questions? They're quite fun. I'm really enjoying this. Alright, we now have a staircase, which is good. Put add some decoration in as well. Let's remove this, add a bookshelf. I need, to, I need to get a new bookshelf texture. I need to make one. Since currently my one is the default one and it's not the nicest, it's just, you know, bookshelf. Candle, spruce. What was Hermione originally going to call spew? Stop the outrageous abuse of our of our fellow households and get them right, something like that. Um, but it wouldn't fit on the badge, so spew is our front. Um, how long did we hit two K? We hit two K like a week ago, I think. Maybe less than a week. Um, yeah. Stop the outrageous abuse of our fellow house elves and get the working rights. Um, they wouldn't have fit on the badge, so 
Yeah. <laughs> I love Spew. Uh, Spew's just such a good meme. It's such a good joke in, like, the Harry Potter series, but it's just not mentioned in the film. Maybe 10k before the end of 2020? Um, that's up to you guys. If you guys want to let me get 10k, I will not stop you. Um, share to your friends, share to your... I don't know, to get everyone subscribed. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. I mean, tank 2k is amazing, but 10k, that's even better. <laughs> well, some wands now. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm not the best on wands, but we can try. Yeah, legal silence, that's the phrase. There we go. Hey, gamer boy, welcome to the stream. Oh, this tower is so small compared to the fat one um, in the earlier books, which is annoying. Very well. Who owns the Elder Wand? Um, do you want like a list? Obviously the first was the first brother, the eldest brother. He was the first one who owned it. Then it went to that guy, don't know his name. Um, and then obviously it went through history, the Death Stick, the Wand of Destiny, etc, etc. And then Gagorovich. Um, not to be confused with Gorgovich. Um, yeah, so then Gorgovich got it, and then Grindelwald um, stole it, and then Dumbledore defeated Grindelwald, and then after it, it went to Draco Malfoy, and then to Harry, and then its power was lost in Harry. Never owned by Snape or Tom Riddle. Hey, retired Jesus, long to stream. Will Drag ever. How. Have you done any work on the library since last stream? No, I haven't. This is the only this is the only interior work I've done since last stream, since I've been doing the, um, the tutorial world, which has been taking up most of my time, actually, so that's quite sad. But yeah, the library is all basically exactly the same. What spell did Harry Hermione use on Cormac in the Quick Trial? She confounded him with the Confundus. Or Confundus? Confundus. Um, so that Ron would get in. Um, so yeah. And then Harry's like, Hermione, you're a prefect. And she's like, oh, shut up. And I love it when um, Hermione's angry at Harry for uh, supposedly putting in the lucky potion. And Harry's response is just <laughs> good fun to anyone recently. I found that really funny. That was really good. A great comeback from Harry right there. <laughs> That's good. What is Bellatrix's wand made of? Uh, um, I need to think. I need to think. I need to think. Um, Ollivander is like, I think it's Walnut and Dragon Heartstring, isn't it? Ollivander, yeah. Made the library, yeah, it's, it's not the best, I'm, I need to move it, um, since I don't like its position. It's in an accurate area-ish, but I just don't like it how it works out. And so I'll be moving it to the long gallery, since the, my original plan was to have the library here. In these windows along here, since it kind of makes sense to have a library along here. Oh gosh, there's water leaking. Um, so I'm not actually going to have the main long gallery, since I do not have the space um, to sacrifice. So I'm not going to have that massive empty space. My current library is in here. I'm going to remove it, so my east wing decoration is disgusting. Um, and obviously I changed the textures of these, they look a bit off. But this is the current library. It's not, it's kind of based with the Oxford one. Um, so we've got some nice charms books. This is the standard book of spells, grade 5 by Miranda Goshawk. And if you want to look, it is... I'll have to look on the second book, I think. Mm, right, let me go to the right and find another one. Uh, this one here, you can see it is... By <laughs> Dragonaut, it is rated by Mr. Ansk. Just a nice... A nice easter egg I added in right there for... <laughs> people who have been building Hogwarts. Um, who owns a snake-headed wand? I'm going to go with Lucius Malfoy. I don't know if I'm on my head, but probably Lucius Malfoy. Kind of sneaky thing he would do. Hey, welcome back, Aiden. Can you see the Charmed Classroom? Yes, yeah, sure. It's not the best right now. Obviously, my East Wing interior is very messy and very quickly done, but it's this area. I can't get in. There you go. Like that. Um, the one was taken by from Grindelwald physically. Yeah, so um, obviously, Greg Voyage was not... Um, 
I forgot about Fantastic Beast. I didn't think of that. Um, when Tina takes it. Um, but yeah. Oops. There we go. Got some actors now. Um, welcome to the stream. I mean, the way Harry puts it, Harry gets ownership over the Elder Wand. Since Harry um, disarms Draco, he doesn't take a... F uh, actually, does he? I mean, Harry when, when Harry's talking to Voldemort, he says he disarmed him. Um, that's what Harry says. I'm not sure if the actual allegiance did change to Harry, but Harry destroyed it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, back to the staircase over here. So over there, up here. Actually, we just finished this corridor right here, actually. So... Let's build this across, like so. Like that okay, right? Clement's posy. Um, Clement's posy is a fleur de cor. Fleur de cor, otherwise known as phlegm. <laughs> Honestly, I I love it how in the nickname in the books they got these epic nicknames like. Runel Wazlib, um, Hermie, and uh, what other ones? I don't know. But it's all these awesome nicknames that I just never mentioned in the film, and I love them. Like, you know. <laughs> Runel Wazlib, I love that. It's so good. <laughs> right, any more? Right. There are theories that Tina is the master right now. She did something a lot in the first Fantasy Beasts, and her sister gets killed by. Whoa! I hope I hope um, Queenie does not die. And Van Lynch, um, yeah, Luna Lovegood. Yeah, Grinnell does lose it. Pop and Tina, Goldstein. Obviously, they're not really complete. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sell cuboid. Your, my interior is not better than yours, Chase. Your interior is great. There we go. Chase's interior is much better than mine. Even if Harry didn't have to the wand, he was always going to defeat Voldemort because Voldemort took Harry's blood. Um, <laughs> nice to see you, Wallenby. Oh, and then, yeah. Even if Harry didn't have ownership of the wand, he was like, yeah, because Voldemort took Harry's blood, Voldemort was never able to actually defeat him in the first place. Um, so yeah, that's true. Very true. Um, one cannot live, one. The other survives. <laughs> Very dramatic. Right, we have a staircase. Alright, how are we going to link these two corridors together since they are at different heights? Which is irritating. Very irritating. I need to redo. I need to redo Gryffindor Horror Room big time. It's horrible. It's like how did you say? It? It's like nice to see Wallenby. Then there's um, that's in the film. Um, yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> we have these windows spot accommodate as well. Um, gosh, the interior is such a mess. Um, I hate. Oh, this is terrifying. Who was Big Head Boy? Percy Weasley. Oh. Big head boy. <laughs> it's like, um, when, um, uh, what, uh, Percy's looking for the what, um, his badge, then Fred and George are like, we have it, we can improving it, and it's just a big head boy. That was great. Hey, um, Haskajold? I'm sorry, I butchered that name. Don't forget about that little tower atop the long gallery. Yes, I will definitely build that in this tutorial at some point. <laughs> I'm sorry, forget about it every time. Um, big head boy. Got to love Percy Weasley. I mean, Percy Weasley is difficult. Um, what are you guys' thoughts? Um, should Percy Weasley be a Slytherin or a Gryffindor? I'm going to throw that out to the chat. Since I think it's quite open-ended. And it's uh, debatable. Debatable. So, yeah. Hey, Dylan. Welcome to the stream. I've been the owner of the other ones. He didn't... Take a soul because killing curse backfired due to the elder one that wanted to kill his master. Yeah, very true. Good point. 
it's just ah, uh, uh, one law is very complicated. <laughs> um, yeah, gotta love some epic wand law. The wand to choose the wizard. That is very evident. That is very evident for those of us who have studied wand law. Oh, wand law is so mysterious. I really want to read about more about it. Um, yeah, that's really interesting. But it's probably a massive mess as well. Right. Where can you donate? I do not have a donate button right now, but if you do want to donate, the best place to donate is Patreon. Can someone send a link to Patreon? Oh, I'll, I'll do it, don't worry. Um. Um, so yeah, best place is Patreon. Um. He should have been a Gryffindor, um, but he should have had a Hatstall. Yes, so, yeah, I think Hatstall would have been really good for It would have made a lot of sense. Um, obviously, I think, yeah, he obviously should have been a Gryffindor since, in the end, while he was ambitious, he chose family in the end, which I think is, well, it's, it's very similar to the reason why the Sorting Hat chose Gryffindor from Hermione, um, since in the book she says, um, you're much more brave for Harry, and that's a much more important quality in a wizard. And I think that's why it's, I chose her as Gryffindor rather than Ravenclaw. Um, obviously, hat stalls are quite fun to just discuss in general. Um, so, yeah. Right, we've got to have a staircase now going up. <laughs> I just imagine McGonagall going like, No, 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 that's the girl's lavatory. So, I think we need the girl's lavatory somewhere around here. Um, maybe. Maybe up here? I don't know. Maybe later. What actor that... Well, actually, that die was emotional for me. I don't know, Rick, then. Definitely. I think, so Percy's really ambitious, and obviously that's a Slytherin trait. And so, yeah, um, I'm not sure. It's very debatable. But, yeah, I think he, Gryffindor, makes sense. Let me remove this. Just keep the kind of pillar area. Uh, that's a bit of a mess as well. Oh gosh. Right, how are we going to incorporate the roof? That's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Hello. Um, although in the end he did become back of fight. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he came back after um, coming around and he realised that family was more important as so he came to the Battle of Hogwarts. I think that was more important, which is why it's a Gryffindor rather than a Slytherin. Um, since. Yeah, there, did you see that theory about the uh, Silly Carlin brothers? Who were like, um, um, person under the Imperius curse? That's a great video. It makes it makes a lot of sense. And it really brings some enlightenment on his actions. Um, I think that was a great video. One of the theories I actually kind of agree with. Um, rather than disagree with. Um, so yeah. Hi, welcome stream everyone who's just joined. Maybe he wants to be a Gryffindor and the hat took that into account. Yes, obviously we wouldn't know about his personal thoughts. But that is very, very true. Definitely could have done that. Oh, what's on here? Tea bug stick. Right. One, two, three, punch that. There we go. There we go. Like that cool. My favourite character is Severus Snape. Um, that's not yeah, very good. Very good. Um, my favourite character is between Snape, Sirius, um, Luna, Hermione, and Ginny, and then so it's my probably my favorite character is Oliver Wood. I love him so much. Hey Max Guida, Colin Bros. Is, yeah, I I love them. The theories are really good. However, their trivia videos are such a oh, that's so annoying to watch. It's just like you, you know, you know, we know the answer. It's just, yeah, it's kind of I find their trivia question videos a bit irritating to watch, and it's kind of just painful. McGonagall and Flitwick were both almost in room clock. Yes, they did have um, hat stalls. As well. Alright, we just staircase up here. Um, for this staircase, shall we do a slab staircase or a normal staircase? Um, I'm gonna go with a slab staircase. I don't know if that's gonna fit in well though. Alright, let's just build this up. Like that. Also, about these weird grey dots, they're just my texture pack glitching up. I need to reset it. 
My bad. Alright, that goes up like that. Oh, it's... it's debatable. Hey, Mr. Chris, welcome to the stream. You're very, you're, yeah, the, um, Sirius is a great character. Have I built Myrtle's bathroom? Nope, not yet. This is basically the only interior I've done. <laughs> um, it's really stressful. The interior is such a nightmare. And obviously the windows on this side, they're not going to line up over... Oh, I can't get out. Get out. On this side, these are not going to line up with anything, so they're just kind of leaning into a black wall. Which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. We all will deal with it. Maybe we'll edit them later, but yeah. Go for no common room. Ah, nightmare. We'll change it up later. <laughs> Oh, another trivia question. Yep, hit it up. Lower trivia question. Oh, I'm going this window. I don't know. Right, let's build this. Well, this all up. Let's just get like a nice roof of this thing. So kind of round this area off. Oh. Like so. I think we should probably end the stream quite soon. We've been streaming for quite a long time now, and I really want to stop. <laughs> Getting quite tired. <laughs> it's quite quite difficult to stream for a long time. I don't know how people do like a 24 hour stream. It's just uh, it's just so so tiring. Um What do you think about the fact that we're on top and level we're in the same situation at the start? Yeah, go ahead and go ahead with the trivia question. Um I don't think they were. Um Neville was always a bit on the weaker side, but he really shows his strengths, um, while Wormtail really didn't fit in anywhere. While Neville, Neville and Wormtail were quite similar, actually, from the start, which I quite agree with you. Um, but Neville obviously went the right way, and Wormtail went the wrong way, and they're just different sides of the kind of the equation. Who cast the Patronus? That was Snape. The Silver Doe. I think the chapter's name's called. I can't fly, I can't fly. There we go. Right. Let's try to build a roof. Um, okay, so we need this to come out. So that means this block needs to be there. No. Uh, this block needs to be here, like that. Then let's replace these blocks like that. And then. But then the Neville became brave and was encouraged by the trio. Like, I don't know why what happened with the one tail. Like, I don't know what was going through his mind. It was weird. Weird bloke. <laughs> um, I, 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 his character is weird. I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, Drawing his friends like that. Anyway, um, I think we should just call this now for stream. I'm getting quite tired, so um, I'm going to call it off. And um, thank you guys very much for joining. Um, thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And we didn't get that much done, but it was quite fun just to chill and talk about Harry Potter, to be honest. Um, and that's all about streams. It's really fun to just chat, not get a lot of progress done, so you have an excuse. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode, which I'll try to get out for Thursday. So I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for 2,000. Oh, that's quite close. Thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys whenever the next episode is going to be, which will, yeah, that'll be Thursday, definitely Thursday. No, Friday, 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 my bad. Alright, I will see you then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.